So IGN recently posted a video about Resident Evil 5 titled The Resident Evil Game That Cannot Be Remade. Now I was well aware of what they were going to say before I even clicked on the video. Why? Well, because I know how some people view RE5. I know the infamous and negative stigma surrounding it that has been around since the game was first revealed. In the end, it turns out that I was right. IGN did not disappoint. They said the exact same things I expected them to say with the same level of wisdom, care, and awareness they are known for. Understandably, they've been under fire ever since they posted that video, with most people, including some well-known content creators, voicing their disapproval of their video and opinion. In fact, I have yet to see a comment from anyone that sides or agrees with IGN. Since this channel is about Resident Evil, and I have even posted several videos discussing the RE5 remake, I think that it's necessary for me to step into the ring as well to give my take on the situation. So, let's get to it. Now first, I want to begin by saying that not everything IGN said in their video is worth dismissing or criticizing. They did make some valid points, namely that RE5 was the turning point for the series when it came to tone and atmosphere, since it's the game that took a sharp turn towards more action, less horror, effectively becoming more of a cover shooter akin to Gears of War, and less of a Resident Evil game. They also discussed how the level design in RE5 is mostly linear, limiting and discouraging exploration and backtracking. These are fair criticisms that I, and I think most people, can agree with. In fact, I even covered the set points in my video on what the RE5 remake needs to succeed. So, IGN's video is not completely without merit, specifically the first half of it. I will give them that much. It's when we get to the second half of the video that we run into a problem. The problem. The point of contention that has led to much discussion and to IGN being ridiculed and criticized for like the umpteenth time. Simply put, they branded RE5 as racist. Extremely so. To the point that it cannot be allowed to re-emerge in its current state in this day and age. It either needs to be, as they said, rewritten, which means it becomes something that is not RE5, or it simply cannot be remade. Instead, Capcom should aim to remake Code Veronica or the original Resident Evil next. Now, to be fair, RE5 being called racist is by no means a new thing. Such accusations have been around, as I said earlier, from the moment the game was first revealed. In truth, without any context, going only by early gameplay and screenshots from the game, you would be forgiven for believing that the game is indeed trying to be offensive. However, context is important and necessary here. With it, you can see this game for what it really is. Once you look past the surface, you are able to realize that RE5 never intended to be racist. First, the developers did not set out to make such a game to begin with. In fact, they were surprised by the reception RE5 got early on, and they urged people to wait until they got their hands on the game so that they can see for themselves what the game truly is. You have to understand that Japan has a different culture, different sets of ideals. They see the world differently. Capcom just made the game they wanted from their perspective, not knowing how the rest of the world would view it. They realized with RE5 that different people, different cultures, see the same things differently. I think intent is very important here. If you deliberately set out to offend people, then we have a problem. But if you never intended to do this, then you can be forgiven, at least in most cases. 
However, this is assuming that they did end up making a racist game accidentally. But the truth is, they didn't. This was, again, never their objective. And it shows. Narratively, thematically, character and dialogue-wise, RE5, for the most part, does not do or say or show anything even remotely racist. Now yes, admittedly there are some things that you could argue are a bit distasteful, such as the marshland area and the enemies in it. I'm not going to sit here and say that this game is entirely clean, but even this, again, was never meant to be offensive. Did they maybe go a little too far here? Yeah, perhaps, but not intentionally. And I would argue that this is still not crossing any lines. So honestly, the only thing that you could really highlight as potential evidence that this game might be racist is the race of the protagonist, Chris Redfield, and the race of most of the enemies he is fighting, which is the main thing IGN focused on. But even this can easily be countered by A, the fact that you have Sheba and Josh, key characters in the game, fighting alongside Chris, something IGN did not mention, B, the fact that not all Magini are people of color, something else IGN did not mention, and C, the fact that the game takes place in West Africa, where most of the population is, well, people of color. Capcom cannot very well misrepresent the population of an entire region just to avoid the label of racist. If they did, then the game would be criticized for that instead. This is yet another thing IGN did not address. So clearly, they chose to mention only the things that align with their agenda. Now, why Africa? Well, Africa was chosen as the setting for this game because it serves as the perfect testing ground for Uroboros, due to the civil and political instability and unrest in the region, which is sadly and unfortunately true to life. Africa was not picked for racial reasons. So, I firmly believe that Resident Evil 5 is not racist. Certainly not to the level where it cannot be allowed to be remade unless it's rewritten to the point that it's no longer recognizable. And especially because if we go by the logic that a protagonist of one race going up against enemies of another race equals racism, then several other Resident Evil games like 4, 6, and Village, and numerous games from other franchises would be considered racist as well. But you never see people making these arguments. I mean, Resident Evil 4 is almost universally loved, and its remake was even nominated for Game of the Year. So basically, to conclude, IGN is wrong. Hilariously so, considering they gave Resident Evil 5 a 9.3 out of 10. This game's existence cannot and should not be denied or altered because of this matter. This is even more proof that there's a reason why you cannot spell ignorant without IGN. I ran a poll soon after watching IGN's video to see what you guys think about it, and the majority has spoken. Please be sure to let me know your thoughts on this entire situation in the comments below. But please, keep it clean. Also, I do apologize if I said anything offensive. I tried my best to present my thoughts and opinions in a tactful and respectful way. Hopefully, I succeeded. On screen now, you will see links to more of my videos on RE5 and its remake. Please feel free to check them out. I will see you over there. Thank you so very much for watching.